Now we move the bowl shaped magnetic array right up next to the coil. Here we will discover something very important which confirms something I was shown about the design of the fusion device that was revealed to me in a vision. When the bowl is right up next to the coil, the output voltage goes down significantly. So when your magnetic field, or magnets in this case, are moving in the direction shown here, you do not want the coil to be right up against the bowl-shaped magnetic array. It appears that the bowl-shaped magnetic arrays interfere with the amount of energy captured when you shoot the magnets through them in the direction shown here. In repeated testing, it also appears that the magnets shooting through the rays in this direction are slowing down and would eventually stop if you increase the number of bowls used. But when we reverse the direction of the bowl-shaped arrays and shoot the magnets through them, the speed of the magnets appears to be increasing with each bowl they pass through. This is very logical if we look back on the test we ran earlier. With the bowl array in the direction shown on the right, 1064 grams of force is required to get the seven magnets to shoot through the array. But with the bowl array in the direction shown on the left, only 362 grams of force is required to shoot the magnets through the array. So you can see significantly better uh, going in this direction. Significantly better. I found the optimal spacing of the magnetic bowls to be 60 millimeters. If you increase this spacing, the magnets shooting through the bowls will stop. As you can see, the tubing can be curved significantly without affecting the voltage produced by the coils. Obviously, this means that you could make a closed loop circle which would allow the magnets shooting through the bowls to keep going and going. Then as shown here, you could also add more magnets into this loop, thereby generating even more electricity. In this animation, you can see such an arrangement. This design would also require spacers between the groups of moving magnets, otherwise they would end up stuck together. typing service to have the bowls made for you. For the primer cubes, we used a 5-axis CNC mill to precisely drill the holes for the magnets in the arrays. But for this Omega Unity device, this high precision is not required.